All right, guys, just left my local Harbor Freight. They're having their big 4th of July sale or whatever. So I went ahead and scooped a little roll cart, another solar panel, and the magnetic power strip that I like using. This thing's kind of overpriced for a power strip, but it's really nice. It's metal, it's magnetic, and all that. Anyways, the plan with this cart is I'm going to set the big low-frequency inverter and my big 5 kilowatt hour 12-volt battery on this to make it more portable because the hand truck is not going to be able to hold all the weight of the batteries plus all that. So my plan is to do this make a cool to roll around 12 volt setup. Also, I'm gonna add another panel to the Harbor Freight Array, make a base to hold all that, wire four panels together, and that'll probably be more or less for the 12 volt system. So anyways, just wanted to show you guys this real quick. I'm gonna go and get all this inside, unbox everything, get this thing built and set up, and then we're gonna start putting all the components on there, kind of laying everything out and seeing how we're gonna wire the whole thing. I'm gonna go ahead and put this cart together. I'm not gonna show the whole thing because it's probably gonna be pretty boring, so we'll just get it done for you guys now. Boom, our cart is done. Man, this orange looks killer. All right, now we got a good base platform in order to mount. We're gonna lay our components out, go over everything, and just start loosely mounting things and so they become permanent. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this drawer yet. I thought about just leaving it out. I'm gonna leave it on just for now, but if it ends up getting in the way, I might just take it out. I'm not sure, maybe I can put the, the onshore power cord in there or something, make it look all nice and neat. So not sure what we're gonna do with that just yet, but cart looks really good. It's about $130 and yeah, looks really killer. All right, so here's all the components we're gonna be installing on our 12 volt power cart. First, we have a 5.12 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. These are made out of Sino Poly 200 amp hour cells. It's a 4S2P configuration. So that's gonna be our main battery. We have a 3000 watt low frequency sun gold power inverter and charger. I got the magnetic Harbor Freight strip. I got a Victron smart shunt for current and power measuring. This is the solar charge controller we're going to use. I've used this thing extensively, it works really great. It's rated up to 80 amps. It's also got a DC breaker and some other various wiring. I also don't, oh, that's also got a fuse on it. I also have some other little bus bars and stuff I'm gonna add on here, but this is gonna be the main components that we're gonna put on this car. Now this car's rated for 350 pounds. And this is probably as much as I'd want to put because the inverter is pretty heavy and the battery is pretty heavy. So we're going to get all that mounted on, kind of see if it's flimsy or not. And yeah, kind of go from there. So first, we're just going to lay everything on there, get an idea where I want to put it, how to run the wiring and kind of go from there. All righty, guys, everything's kind of thrown on there. I have that mounted with a two bolt mod, so that's solid on there. The battery is very heavy, so I'm probably not even going to put screws in that. That thing was extremely hard to get in there. And the inverter, I am going to eventually maybe put some holes and put some small bolts or maybe some self-tappers. But we're going to leave it like this just for now in case i got to move this around. Now we got to do some wiring. I need to find out where I want to put all the high amp cables. I need to run that. I need to run another extension cord to the inverter to for the AC input for the charging function. And yeah, just kind of tidy it all up and make it look all nice. But so far, this thing's going to be... So far, this thing's coming out really awesome and I really am really happy with it. I really like the orange too. It looks really nice. Okay guys, went ahead and mounted a set of bus strips right there to connect everything to. I connected this Anderson power plug as an, as an output as well as to be able to connect more batteries in case I wanna add more capacity. And right now I'm making the inverter or the battery connections to the bus bar cable. So I have one already done. This is Windy Nation two gauge copper wire. Went and got my lugs crimped on there, heat shrink with marine heat shrink and all that. So this is the positive, I just gotta do the negative. I also went ahead and mounted the smart shunt right there. So the smart shunt is gonna be responsible for monitoring the capacity of this pack and the amp draw and everything. So when this is a standalone unit, that'll measure total power consumption of the whole thing. But if I decide to connect batteries here, it's gonna end up bypassing that somewhat. So it's really gonna be mostly for monitoring that battery, but when the system's by itself, it'll work as a whole. But anyways, so I'm gonna make that cable. I gotta make the negative cable go from there to the bus bar there. Got to make the inverter connections. Got to make some leads for the charge controller, which also have to be pretty thick wire because that can do up to 80 amps. And that's really it. Put the covers on, zip tie up a couple things. I do need to add the AC input power cord. I still need to mount the power strip. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get those cables finished made and I'll show you guys when I'm done. All right, the cart is nearly fully wired. I went ahead and ran the DC cables out of the charge controller. These are two gauge because these were getting nice and hot in the last setup through our 50 amp breaker, which is not big enough, but that's fine. I've never pushed more than 50 amps through the controller to begin with. All the way up here. So we have our battery coming in, our charge controller coming in. Like I said, our external input slash output, and then the inverter cables with a fuse. So I do wanna add 
a couple more things. I want to add a disconnect switch on the battery, probably another fuse, probably a fuse on the solar side just in case. And yeah, that's probably about it for now. So this is probably the messiest part of just these big thick cables. You can see how everything's wired right there. I do have the covers for these. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap those on. I still need to cut the end off of that wire it in there and that's it. This thing's pretty much done. So a little bit more tidying up to do, but overall I'm actually real happy with it. So pretty nice little solar cart. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the solar panels and get some power going into this thing. All right, so here's the completed 12 volt cart. We got and got this thing all slapped together. So got the fuse, got the wiring, everything's done. I do need to kind of tuck this somewhere. Got the covers put on. So kind of cleaned up some of the wiring. This is for connecting more batteries. And I also added the grid connection. This is where I can plug this in to activate the charger. I do need to make some sort of hook. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. So we're just gonna lay it right here for now. And then the drawer, I didn't really have a use for, but I started putting a bunch of random chargers in here. That way I can use these chargers to charge things with this. So it's really convenient. The power strip just magnetically sticks to the side. And yeah, this thing works freaking awesome. I don't have it plugged in right now to anything obviously, but on the next really sunny day, we'll connect a couple panels to this thing and let it charge all the way up. But for right now, this is gonna be my little portable, I guess you could say 12 volt power bank just for around the house. It's very easy to move around. It is pretty heavy, you know, low frequency inverter, big old lithium iron phosphate cells, but yeah, super happy with how this came out. It looks super clean and I'm very excited to use it. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this quick little build. It was very simple to do and that's it. I guess this is gonna be it for this video. So thank you guys for watching.